My mom's watching right now. I better stop talking about her. She has eyes everywhere. She really does. My mom's a Southern Christian lady. She's from the great state of Alabama. Do I have any Southerners here? Well, not like Southern Missouri, but like South, like, where are you, where are you from back there? Where? Alabama. Are you Roll Tide or War Eagle? Neither? Okay, good. Stay neutral because they will kill you. They will kill you for some college football. They will, I'm telling you. My mom is Christian unless her war eagle, Auburn Tigers, are playing and then she loses her salvation. Have you ever seen those women? They think they have Jesus and then their sports team starts to lose and they lose all dignity. She's very Christian. She's a Presbyterian and they don't move. We call them the frozen chosen at my mother's church. It's a... It's really fun to do comedy there because they laugh on the inside. So that's really fun. It's just delightful. And my mom sings in church every Sunday. She gets a solo every Sunday. She's like, how great thou art. And you can hear the voice of God going, not so great, Barbara. Not so great. Why don't you go to the choir? She's not even in the choir because she can't go to rehearsal, okay? Because she's got to watch Dancing with the Stars. Okay, Dancing with the Stars is on season 57. They are digging up dead people to be on that show, all right? I'm like, Mom, if you want, no, I got to watch Dancing with the Stars. I'm like, Mom, nobody cares about that show. She's like, yes, they do care. 27 million Americans voted in the finale last week of Dancing with the Stars. Now, we've just gone through years of political unrest in this country, and 27 million Americans exercise their right to vote on the season finale of Dancing with the Stars, okay? So next time we have a presidential election, we're gonna take the top two candidates and we're gonna make them dance it out, all right? Right? I would watch that debate. If Trump and Biden had done a samba, it could have been a different day, you know what I'm saying? It's my political, I don't do political jokes, because I don't want to die in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But a, a lot's been going on, and um, you know, the kids are good, and I've got my daughter's 14 now, which is great. I love having a 14-year-old. Um, she wants to be a lawyer, which is great, because she can lie with more conviction than anyone. Have you ever been in an argument with a 14-year-old? Because they got YouTube, so they know everything about everything in the whole wide universe. You know, and then she'll argue with you until you, she's like, Christopher Columbus came from India, mom. He came from India. I'm like, he did not come. I got, Suri, did Christopher Columbus come from India? Oh, and what about the, did any of y'all, okay, where's the teachers at? Give some love to the teachers in this room. Yes. Oh my gosh. You teachers have to deal with the product of a bunch of day drinking parents that educated your children. You know you did it. You had communion every morning, didn't you? You're like, Jesus had some wine and bread. Mommy will be right back. Because I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. And the math, do you guys, I don't know about this in Missouri. Do you do the common core math? It's straight from hell. I mean, literally. Like, two plus two back in my day was four. No, no, no. Two plus two is whatever you feel like writing down because we don't want to hurt your feelings, okay? Why don't you keep scoring, Little League? Maybe you learn how to do math. But Common Core, I couldn't handle it. And I finally just looked at my daughter and I said, you're never going to need math, okay? You're pretty, all right? So just, thank you. So I find out who my people are. My daughter's like, is that how you got into college? I'm like, no, we're Italian. Your uncles will get you it. It's fine.